Hello everyone, and welcome back to our reading of Sea Mysteries. Today's chapter, Ghosts and Ghost Ships. The sea has been a place of danger and death for many sailors. As a result, a number of superstitions and legends have arisen about those lost at sea and the ships they sailed in. Most of these, of course, are the work of many a sailor's vivid imagination. Told and retold with ever more fantastic details added. But there remains a handful of genuinely puzzling ghostly sea mysteries that still send a tingle of fear down the spine. Mystery surrounds the tale of Liorang Madan, a Dutch freighter that was bound for Jakarta, Indonesia in February 1948. On a day of calm seas and clear blue skies, she sent out the following SOS call, which was picked up by over a dozen ships. Captain and all officers dead. Entire crew dead or dying. Now I am also near death. A grim sight awaited the rescue team that reached the stricken vessel three hours later. The deck was lettered with corpses while on the bridge lay the dead bodies of the officers and the captain. Each man appeared to have died in the same way, eyes fixed in horror and arms raised to the sky. Even the ship's dog lay with its fangs bared and his paws arched in the air, as if trying to ward off an invisible enemy. The rescue team's doctor could find no trace of poisoning or disease or any fumes that might have caused the deaths. What was the cause? The question has never been answered satisfactorily. Why should a photograph of two men swimming in the Pacific be one of the most remarkable ever taken? Because the two men, James Courtney and Michael Meehan, had been killed four days before the photograph was taken. They had been overcome by poisonous fumes while working in the engine room of the oil tanker, Waterton. On December 3, 1939, the day after they had been buried at sea, an astonished deckhand spotted the two men swimming just 15 meters from the tanker. Over the course of the next three days, the men were to appear frequently, smiling and raving at their astonished crewmates. On the tanker's next voyage, a member of the crew managed to take eight photographs of Courtney and Meehan. Unfortunately, only one of the photos gave a clear picture, but it was enough. Friends and relatives of the two men had no doubt that the two swimmers were Courtney and Meehan. Perhaps the most best known sea mystery is that of the Marie Celeste. The ghost ship found adrift off the Azores on December 3rd, 1872. There was no sign of life on board, either above or below decks. There were no clues to explain why the crew had disappeared. Indeed, everything appeared to be quite normal in the crew's quarters. Clothing lay folded neatly on bunks and washing hung on lines. In the galley, breakfast had been prepared, and some of it had been served. In the captain's cabin, breakfast had been left. Next to it, the captain's log showed entries up to November 25th, and gave no hint that anything was wrong. Why was the Marie Celeste abandoned? It seems unlikely that bad weather was the cause. There was little sign of damage on deck, and the ship had taken on only a normal amount of water. Was there a mutiny? There was no sign of a struggle, and in any case, why would the mutineers have left the ship too? Instead of answers, there remains one final question. How did the Marie Celeste remain on her intended course for eight days and some 800 kilometers with no one at the wheel to steer her? Stories grew up that the ship was cursed. Although she was recovered and put to sea again, 
she had an unhappy history. She was sold 17 times in 11 years before being run aground deliberately off the coast of Haiti in 1884, taking her terrible secret to a watery grave. Well, aren't those quite the mysteries? Anyway, I'll see you next time. See ya!